Hey guys, this is Pavel from Awesome Presentations. In this video, I will show you how to do interesting slide for your social media stats. If you would like to show, for example, how many clicks do you have on your social media, how many likes you have, uh, how many followers you have, you can do it in very interesting way. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's start from putting a background. Uh, into our presentation so for that you go to design format background I'm gonna use picture from file there we go slide social media there fine uh, all right uh, now we're gonna put some transparent um, transparent shape on top of it so let's go to rectangle go no outline I already choose uh, the color I want to use um, so just for your information um, that would be 41, 171, 185 for RGB. Um, you can also download this slide from the link below and you can get all the properties of all the objects for us straight from there. Um, we're gonna put it, we're gonna make it um, transparent as I said, maybe like 10%. Maybe 15, 15, okay. Um, let's now put a logo of our social media. Uh, I choose to go with Twitter, uh, but you can use any other for, for your presentation. So first step, <coughs> first step, excuse me, first step is to get Twitter uh, logo for that you can go to uh, flaticon.com it's a very nice service I already searched for social media Twitter and that's the one I would like to download a couple of things you need to keep in mind uh, when using that and doing the slide in the way I'm doing now when you click on PNG version of the slide you want to download that uh, that uh, logo in exactly same color as your transparent shape that we just put it on top of our slide. The problem with this is that it's not RGB. You need to change it to hex, but you can do it straightforward. You just go to um, Google, you type RGB to hex, you type your RGB and you're gonna get your hex number. So that's not a huge overhead. So there it is, we're gonna go with the biggest file, sorry, biggest size, free download, and there it is, control C, control V, good. Let's make it slightly bigger. Now, theoretically you can still play uh, with a PowerPoint uh, within PowerPoint uh, settings and PowerPoint functionalities to do what I'm about to do, but I prefer to use Snagit. Snagit is a um, is a graphical tool mostly used to screen capture, but you can you can do a couple of things easier than in PowerPoint, and it's still free of charge. I mean, you can use free of charge version to do what I'm about to do. So. From here, I'm gonna copy paste it. I'm gonna go to Snagit. You can very easily find it in Google and download it in like five minutes. I'm gonna paste my picture. And now, a couple of steps you're about to repeat my steps. Uh, first of all, right click and flatten the object. Um, then choose fill. Now we need to play around with three different colors. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna make uh, the our Twitter logo transparent. Uh, 
and now I'm gonna color the background in the color of uh, of our transparent object in the presentation. I already chose it. You can see there's our hex color. So it's very simple to use exactly the same color. In fact, you really need to do that. You need to do use exactly the same colors as we used uh, in your presentation. Uh, I jumped gun here a little bit uh, because before you're gonna color the background, you need to choose the opacity, uh, transparency of the file. They're gonna go with 85. It's other way around than in your PPT. Let's go. Let's just type it 85. And now let's color it. Let's copy paste it now. Go back to PPT. Now we can get rid of that. Paste it. Good. Uh, picture border. No outline. Good. Now, what I'm about to do? I'm about to make. Uh, I'm about to cut the cut our logo in the shape, um, just to make an illusion that the Twitter logo just stands out by showing exactly what's What's the picture? Uh, to do that, I'm gonna. You need. I'm gonna to click on format. Expand the options by clicking on this symbol uh, on the top left, sorry, top right corner of the section ribbon. Fill. Slide background fill. And there we go. Maybe slightly. Let's see if we got exactly the effect we wanted to do. We see uh, that our picture stands out. No, it looks like exactly integral part of the rest of the slide. So good stuff. Now let's use some text. I'm gonna use Lato. Maybe Lato heavy. Media. Let's make it bigger. Let's make it wide to stand out. I'm gonna put some metrics that probably you would like to do for your slide. For this uh, presentation, I'm gonna use a single um, single graph. You can use whatever you want to. Um, what that would be graph numbers, um, pie charts, whatever. So to do that, I go to insert charts and navigate to pie. And if you go, if you're about to choose pie, go to donut. And just double click, you're gonna get some random numbers. Uh, we don't need to play around with with those numbers. It's just uh, for illustration purposes anyway. Let's remove the sections we don't need, like title, legend. Now for that we don't need to it's formatted a bit. We don't need no border. Uh, this section I would like to be white. Those sections I would like to be grayish. Or perhaps let's make it white, but let's make it transparent. 
this this wheels slightly thinner oh, the wrong way. as long as I remember the amount here was let's remind myself at the data the number was 8.2 insert text So for consistency 8.2 and let's say that millions. Fine. Let's format M to be subscript 30%. That's fine. Entire text is gonna be white. Much 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 larger. Um, good, we are getting somewhere with this, um, now I, um, I'm gonna add some final touch, let's go back to Snagit, let's make this uh, logo white, transparent, let's say 90. and gentlemen I think I think I don't know like the concept please leave the thumbs up um, if you like to be up to date with some more videos uh, please subscribe and see you next time